There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. What's up? It's your girl, A. We came to slay. We not about to play, okay? Girl, what's up, y'all? How are y'all doing? Hope y'all having, like, an amazing day. Your girl is cool. I'm chilling, okay? So, first of all, I want to say this, okay? I need... <laughs> I need to set an alarm on my phone for certain things because, girl, let me tell y'all. So, I bleached this wig yesterday, okay? Or the day before yesterday. I can't look. I can't even remember. And I told myself, don't forget like you did the last time and go upstairs and just start editing all type of videos. So, that's what I had in my mind. I said to myself that I'm going to remember. Girl, two hours went by, okay? Why am I talking so loud? Two hours went by and I'm sitting here and I'm trying to work on editing a video and out of nowhere, I realized, girl, I took off like, like I was on fire down the steps. Like, me running down the steps was gonna make any difference in the processing of the hair like it was gonna make any difference thank god none of the hair fell out but i'm gonna just say this the wig is bleached the knots are not black or speckled they are white now okay so when i got the wig it was pre-bleached it was very lightly bleached and i just be want everything to be perfect okay so i said i'm gonna just go in and do a little bit extra now i'm glad that the hair did not fall out i don't know if it's because it's kinky straight hair but girl i'm gonna just say this i'm probably gonna have to add a little bit of hair dye because the inside of the cap is like a white color now due to the fact that the bleach was sitting on the hair so long that the roots turned white and the lace color yeah well the lace is lighter. I don't know. The lace is lighter, but I definitely will need to spruce it up. So I've worked with this company already prior in the past, which is OMG Queen. They do have some really nice units. They're affordable. And girl, listen, if their hair didn't fall out, then girl. So this is a 13 by 6, I do believe. 13 by 6. And it's a kinky straight wig. Now this is the lace right here. So yes, I did part it on the side and I'm not really sure if I should have. So I'm definitely going to make it into a middle part. But it does have like the 4C edges, which I went ahead and brushed back because I really don't care for too many of them at a time like sometimes if you have too many of those 4c or those curly edges it starts looking like pubic hairs and i don't know about y'all but i'm not trying to walk around with nobody's pubic hair hairline I'm not doing it i don't like a lot of them because then it also looks like your hair is broken off so i try to push and brush them back with some foam so that way i don't have to really work too hard to get them to kind of like melt with the rest of the hair so i'm gonna just show y'all how your wig comes okay and we're just gonna jump right into this i'm just hoping for the best because like i said i did bleach it for too long okay yes and that's about it so let's just see how your hair comes from omg queen and when i say how your hair comes from omg queen please keep in mind when i do show you wigs on the mannequin that's them those are the wigs that are straight out the box i did not do anything to them yet i did not style them i did not pluck them i did not bleach them and i'm only saying this because there have been a few people that say well, can you show us what the wig looks like before you do anything i do but i guess some people just don't realize that even if i got in close on the hairline and show the knot some people probably still don't realize that but me showcasing the wig on my mannequin head is showing you how it comes directly from the company with Without any work being done to it okay and then i do my steps so with that being said let's showcase how your wig will come from omg queen okay girl yes Alright you guys, so let's try to work this wig out. Now y'all see how white the lace was after I showed you the inside of the cap. And I decided I had to make it a middle part only because I just felt like it was a little bit more noticeable on the side. So I went ahead and parted. I think I did a good job with the part. Now this is the part here. I did put my wax stick on the edges only because I just really didn't want the 
curly edges. Like I said, sometimes it just looks like too much of your hair has broken off or vice versa. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to be hot combing the hairs into the rest of the hair. And it was an easy job using the wax stick and pressing the natural curly hairs into the rest of the cap. Now here I am using my Shop Miss A foundation and I always prefer to use an angled brush that way the line is not too thick. And it's coming along girl, it is definitely coming along. You know I had to bring some color back to that lace. Now I'm going to be using my Clairol hair dye and it's like a dark medium brown. I should have got a different color. I've had this color for quite some time so you know. I just use a very small makeup brush and allow it to just dry. I do think the best method of using this hair dye is to set it out, pour it in a little cap and let it oxidize, get a little thicker and then use it so that way it's not so runny. And that's what I normally would do. But because I am doing this video on camera, I'm just going to, you know, show you guys. But look, it did turn out really cool. Like I'm, I'm hooking it up. I did F this wig up. Girl, I don't even know how I forgot. But I did try to remind myself and I didn't. Now, as you see, I'm just going to customize the unit. I'm just going over my ears. And you just want to repeat that on the opposite side. Now it's time to cut the lace. And girl, let me tell y'all, this lace is bomb as hell, okay? Even though I effed up the lace where the hair was at, the lace is so transparent. Like, you can barely see it. And I appreciate that. So this is some damn good lace, girl, okay? And as you see, my arms are like wiggling. That's because I don't want to make the line straight. I just want to kind of jag it. And I just prefer to use a scissor versus a eyebrow um, razor or what have you because I just get scared that I'm going to cut the lace. Now, y'all already know my favorite go-to hairspray is Aussie Instant Freeze. This stuff will freeze up like nobody's business. It will stick like nobody's business, okay? And I just put it on. I let it air dry, get a little tacky, and then I'm going to spray on my second layer right here, as you see. And I'm also going to allow the second layer to get tacky. Now that it's tacky, this is the third layer. I'm just going to put this on one side. While it's wet, while the hairspray is wet still, I'm just going to press the lace on. Now, I know some people will be like, why you do it like this? Because I do say let it get tacky. Well, there are times when I just will do the third layer wet and then blow dry it. When you do it like this, it melts even better and it is even a stronger hold. And if you ever see me dapping like I just did right now, that's to help the lace melt even more. The wetter the lace is it, and you let it dry, it seems like it just melts a lot better versus always allowing it to get tacky. Yes, getting it tacky does hold a firm hold, but when you put it on wet like this, like on the third or fourth layer, and then you blow dry it, you get a very strong hold and you get a better melt. That's in my opinion, and I've noticed this with a lot of wigs. So I just take the tail end of my rat comb and I just make sure I'm pressing it down into all the lace and into the hairs. And then I'm going to take my Mark Anthony styling foam, which is really for curly hair, but I don't advise you to use this on your wigs. Like if it's curly, because it gives you like this really sticky mask and it gets really thick and it weighs the hair down. So I just like to use it to sculpt my hairs because it gives a really great look and it just makes it look so much natural. So I just brush that on into the hair and then I'm going to just go ahead and take my Melton elastic band and put that on and let it dry. Now right here you see me using an eyeliner pen. See the eyeliner pen or eyebrow pen It's one that I don't use on my face in a dark brown and I just went in certain spots to you know hook it up. Now it's time to press this hair out. This is some really nice hair. I like this textured hair. This is some very nice kinky straight textured hair. And girl look I hooked that part up okay. For somebody that jacked up the wig, I surely did hook it up. Just don't do what I did, okay? Try to remember when you're putting on your bleach, put a timer on your phone, and that's what I'm going to have to start doing because, yeah, this is the second wig that I've done like this. And the first one that I actually bought, girl, all the hair came out. So this was actually a great wig because none of the hair fell out. Even when it was wet and I was brushing it throughly to see if it was to come out, none of it came out. This came out so good. The lace is melted. You know, the hair is perfect, like really, really nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and spruce up my hairline with my makeup brush. And girl, that's about it. Look at those sides. That This came out nice. See, I don't really like all those curly edges. I think this was perfect. 
perfect. This came out really, really nice. And you can't even tell that I bought the wig, okay? So, yes, baby. Do it like it's your bidet. OMG queen. Now, here's the part, girl. I wanted to give myself a little more pressing. And, yeah, that happened. Hurt like hell. And so now I have a mark on my forehead. I got a battle wound, girl. I got a battle wound. OMG Queen, check out their Black Friday sale. They're going to have some sale going on, so make sure you check them out. This week came out bomb. All right, y'all. So this is it. This is the final look, girl. I'm glad I did not F this wig up. Like, I did kind of F it up. Like, seriously. So I had to doctor it up. But I'm glad I didn't F it up too bad. Like, you know, I'm trying to not be a potty mouth in this video. I'm trying to be professional. But girl, listen. So good thing I did put it in the middle part because like I said, um, on a, on a side, I just felt like I could see the, the bleach marks a lot more, but also I was so close to the actual cap, you know, construction that it was just probably best that I moved the part over. So I kind of like it in the middle part. And also I wanted to move it in the middle part because I like the way the hairline was on this. Like it had that little dip in the middle kind of like, and it was kind of like pushed back to where, you know, I didn't have to tweeze it like that. It just, it just felt perfect. So I think like for this one, the middle part was just definitely, definitely needed. It. Like, you know how you can do a middle part on some and then some you can't. This one, this this one was definitely a middle part just because of the way they did the hairline. I'm going to say this about OMG Queen, girl, listen. Okay. They did a daggone good job on this hairline, baby. Did they, baby? Listen, now I like, like I said, I like the 4C curly natural edges, but I don't like a lot of them. When there's so much of them, it just looks like your hair done broken off. And then when there's so much or they're, they're on your head sporadically, it just looks like private area hairs, pubic hairs. And I just, listen, if you can push them back without tweezing them, that's what I'm gonna do. So with this one, I didn't have to tweeze anything. All I did was hot comb them back with a little bit of my wax stick and that was it. Like they actually don't even need them. This is a very nice lean hairline. Girl, like look at this hairline. And also the the lace is bomb. I like the way it melted. Um, of course, I did have to do a little bit extra only because it was my fault. The hair was really nice. Nice, easy to, you know, flat comb, hot comb and stuff like that. But girl, guess what? This hair did not fall out. So this is still a good wig. Girl, what? Still a good wig. It looks natural as hell right now. Glad I was able to rock this wig, do this review. Y'all already know everybody having a Black Friday sale, okay? So if y'all ready to get a wig, go ahead to OMG Queen. You know what I'm saying? OMG Queen. Get you one of those Black Friday deals. They will definitely be having them. I will link everything down below. And I really can't remember how many inches this is. I want to say this is like 24 inches. Oh, let's see. What is it? So th this is supposed to be 20 inches and 180% density. So here's the thing. This is definitely 180% density. That part I believe. But the 20 inches, no, I'm not believing it. Um, that's what it says on the bag. Y'all tell me what 20 is this. Whose 20 inches is this long? This is not 20 inches. This, like I said, looks like 24 because it's all the way down to here. This does not look like 20 inches. I don't know, y'all. Okay, OMG Queen giving out more inches. Check out their Black Friday sale. Let me know what you think. I will definitely leave all the information down below. Y'all already know a girl got to go, but I will see y'all in another video. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs video up, share with everybody, and make sure you leave your comment. Okay, girl. Love y'all. <laughs>